what's going on guys welcome back to another video uh thanks for tuning in so in this particular video what we're going to be doing uh not wasting no time and just debulking that top um it was really long my client said he just wanted to start over he was just tired of the long hair and whatnot so we decided to do a six on top lever all the way closed we're going to do a mid drop fade keeping the parietal ridge and the occipital bone area dark so that's kind of what we chose the, the drop fade for make sure you go each every way um you know when a client hasn't cut their hair in a long time you know it's very important to make sure that we get it all even around the top Following that up, what we're gonna do is come in with our number four guard around that parietal ridge area with the lever closed and open. This is gonna allow us to, um, you know, be able to see um, our foundation of what we're working with a little bit easier. So it's basically, it's just debulking um, and not going right into that trimmer line area. Once we get that out of the way, now we can kind of see a little bit more what we're doing. So we're gonna start under the C cup around the temple area or below the temple, should I say, and go around the ear and go ahead and drop it around the occipital bone, around the back, give that nice arch look, then go ahead and clean them up. Um, as you can see, that's kind of gonna be our first trimmer guideline. And we're just gonna follow this same shape around the head. Following that up, we're gonna create our first panel. Our first panel is gonna be with no guard, uh, clipper, uh, or should I say lever all the way open. We're gonna go up about an inch. That's gonna be um, like our first step uh, for you beginner barbers. It's good to create your first step. That way you kind of know what a panel should look like. And if you are fading down, um, it kind of gives you that space between um, the trimmer line and the half guy line. So following that up, we're gonna go, uh, as we did, we used a number four guard earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and follow that up with your number three guard, lever all the way open, then close. And we're just gonna begin to fade down. This is my number two guard, lever all the way open. Same thing, start open and then lower the area of where you're at. I like to call it lowering the point of fade then close it as you can see and begin to fade down. When you are fading down, you always have to make sure that each step in each guard you're doing, you're bringing the fade lower and lower. You can't stay in the same spot because what you're just gonna do is you're gonna create a, you know, a really dark uh, compressed fade and that's not what we're looking for. This is my one and a half guard, lever all the way open and close. Keep the same shape as the panel that uh, we created, kind of like that arch look towards the back. Once we got that out of the way, you kind of see what I'm talking about right there with that kind of like that rainbow look. Um, we're going to come with our number one guard lever all the way open. And same thing. You know, these are really easy steps. I like to tell people like, yo, you know, when you're fading down, it's harder to be able to leave a line. You know, um, it's all about open and close. As you can see, now we have the number one closed. And it's the same thing. We're just going down and down and lowering the point and lowering the point. If you do leave a line, all you got to do is open up that lever real quick and just flick out that line real quick. Here we are coming in with our 1 16th guard. Lever all the way open. I mean, you can slowly see that fade coming together, uh, you know, and you can put it midway. Uh, when you are getting close to that 1 16th guard, if you want to get a little bit more detailed, you can go midway and then close it. Kind of saw me do this. You just saw me do that right there. Excuse me. Once we got that out of the way, you could choose two different options here. Here I'm going with the lever all the way open, then midway, then close it. Or you can start from the lever close, open it midway, then open it all the way. So whichever you know, direction or option you choose to do, the outcome will be the same. Just make sure you're staying mindful. Don't go too high, stay within, uh, you know, the area of where you're working with. Um, so there's just different ways here. We just faded all the way down. Um, we didn't kind of compress the fade or anything like that. The, the fade kind of just came together as, as we are fading down. And you can see we really didn't leave no lines. And this is prior to detailing. So just keep that in mind when you are fading down, it's less likely that you will leave a harsh line as if you are fading up but um, me you know being a barber for over 10 years you know i fade both ways so here we can kind of come in you know detail work you know step away from the fade come back um kind of like refresh your eyes i like to say sometimes 
sometimes when you are fading, you're so caught up in the area that you're working with that sometimes it's good to either go to a different op um, section of the hair or kind of just step away real quick, refresh your eyes, and then come back and look for any details. Um, jumping right into the the lineup here, we are going to use the corner of the blade. I like to create that first um, initial part of that uh, C cup at the top of the temple and then start at the bottom and use the corner of the blade, kind of create that, create that nice rainbow look and that nice arch for that nice C cup. Come in real lightly um, with your shaver, clean up the bottom, uh, make sure we want that bottom to look as smooth and as light as possible so the shaver will come in handy right here. And basically what we're gonna do is we faded one side, we're gonna do the exact same thing going the opposite way. We're gonna connect both of it. So what we'll do is we'll start from the right side of the guard or the clipper and we'll make sure that we connect that and then start to um, fade the opposite way. And basically I had already done the three uh, open close, the two open close, and I just went and started right there with the one and a half open close. You see me here using the number one guard, um, open and close. So it's the same things. Um, and basically we're just kind of meeting that fade in the middle. Uh, it's kind of creating that um, almost like a V look. And then what we'll do at the end is we'll kind of just round out that, um, you know, that drop fade around that occipital bone area and make sure that it looks, um, you know, nicely put together. But honestly, the fade, it, it puts, it, you know, it, it meets itself and it comes out neatly, um, you know, on its own, as long as you follow those steps. You can kind of see me here, like, you know, it just comes together. So, um, you know, just stay consistent, follow the steps, trust the process. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Um, but yeah, you know, we, you know, we doing our thing, man. We teaching people. Um, this channel's blowing up little by little. So, you know, I appreciate you guys. We hit 5,000 subscribers. Next milestone is gonna be 10,000. Uh, so y'all always make sure you guys are, you know, sharing, staying active in the comments. I'm always replying to you guys. If you guys need help, follow me on Instagram. Um, same as my YouTube channel at jmed20. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys' support as always. Um, I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible, even when I get busy. Um, but at least once a week, I'm trying to drop a video, uh, max every two weeks. You know, if I can get in, um, two videos in a week, I'm gonna drop it for you guys. So as always, appreciate you guys. Um, but back to the video, you guys can see, you know, it's come together, come in detail work, stay consistent. Um, I mean, truly it's about trusting the process. Um, you know, don't get too ahead of yourself. As I said, you know, a few minutes ago is trust the process. The fade will come, you know, it takes reps. So, you know, that's, that's my word of advice for you guys right there. So here, same thing, start at that little top of the temple area, create, you know, your finish line, should I say, and then start at the bottom and kind of meet that up um, with that finish line. C cup area, I'm trying to put it into words for you guys. And the C cup came out, I mean, look at that face, that face super blurry, guys. So, you know, I, I hope you guys have learned something, you know, in this video today, um, six on top, drop fade, mid, keep it dark around the, you know, the parietal ridge area. He wanted to keep his lineup somewhat natural, but definitely still shape it up. So that's what we did, kind of create our vertical bar, keep it natural in the front. You know, he didn't want that widow's peak cut off too much. So I went, kind of went real low with the, you know, with the front lineup. My trimmers died, so I had to switch over to my sabers here, but definitely hope you guys learned something. You know, finish it off with your final touches. Come with the razor, stretch the skin, go against the grain with the grain. As always, you've heard, you guys have heard me say that before. I like dry shaving. I feel like it gets a little bit closer and removes any like, you know, dead skin or anything like that. So it gets it really nice and, and really fresh when you do dry shave. Go ahead, dust your client off. That is the final product, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe as always. Um, can't say it enough. I appreciate your guys' support, but there you guys have it. Mid drop fade, um, somewhat of a transformation cut. You know, my client is starting over, but appreciate you guys watching, tuning in until next time. God bless See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Peace out.